welcome back to episode 1 of this new Road to Alpha series and we're playing the most populated server which is GB7X Duo's my own server. Top link in the description if you do want to go join. Anyway, we probably have the best start I've ever had on Ark. As you're going to see, we get tech within like an hour or two of the wipe. We also claim one of the biggest and best caves on the game in my opinion. I'll let you guys decide that in the comments. And we also get into loads of day one raiding and PvP as always. Just action packed. Let's see if we can smash 400 likes and let's get into the video. So it's that time again and it was finally time for a GB7H dual wipe on Ark Survival Evolved. And this was what the pre-wipe events were looking like. Server was capped so we were in for an amazing wipe here. My server is actually wiping next Saturday too. So a week from where this video sort of comes up. Uh, top link in the description if you do want to go join. But let's get into it. So as always, I was streaming white day as I normally do, and this is what my chat was looking like. So the hype for this wipe was insane right now. Uh, it was going to be very difficult because we might get stream sniped a little bit, but hopefully not. So we had the plan that we were going to stick to. As I was streaming on TikTok and YouTube at the time, I didn't want to give our base location away before we got any heavy turrets up. So my plan was to get a few DPS dinos like a Rhino, uh, Bloodstalkers, Maywing, stuff like that. And then come back to the base once I've got level 100 and then craft the turrets instantly. So for some reason it don't pick up my mic audio when I'm streaming so I'm just going to do a lot of voiceovers it really won't make a difference here. So I uploaded the rhinos and all of that and some cementing paste I believe and then I came over to get some poly and oil on the little iceberg and there was some pvp there so obviously I'm going to try to pvp and gain some loot from it. Whilst we're in this fight, a message from my comment section. What is your favourite dino to use early game? Is it a stalker when they're nerfed like this or is it a Maywing? Uh, let me know. Hopefully I can kill this guy and uh, get some good loot from him. That was quite a nice bowler, I can't lie. And as you can see there, I got some oil and polymer from that guy, so I don't have to farm it myself, so that was a big help to say the least. So the cave of choice this wipe was going to be Autumn Cave on Fiorda. Uh, it's obviously one of the biggest caves I know in the game and it's actually got a quite nice entrance when it's a custom cave like this. Uh, you can have like a few towers outside and you can have a nice little wall in here so it's very difficult to raid. I mean yeah, the entrance is not amazing as you can see here. You can still try it so okay and probably grapple glitch after. Uh, but the towers outside when you're at that level is the main part. Part. Yeah. How much health do you want? About 400. Yeah. So we were progressing extremely quickly right now. I just had to go get some black pills so we could get a mining drill and I obviously came over to Wyvern bit and as you're going to see my luck with eggs this wipe is going to be pretty insane. You've definitely got to be extremely careful when getting black pearls, especially when stalkers are like nerf 50% because of one lava ball from them things and uh, yeah, your stalker's probably dead. Progress was getting done and I got a level 190 wyvern egg uh, out of yeah. the obviously wyvern nests. And we were getting so many more heavy turrets up, we were getting so much bullets in the turrets and I believe this was like an hour and a half into wipe and this is what I was basically saying in this clip. And the only real way someone was going to raid us right now is with Maywing diving in the back of our cave getting beds down and I wasn't going to let that happen so I put a ton of fence supports up. I then came over to this cave and decided I was going to raid it. I mean, there weren't too much to raid. It was just some forges and some smithy and he already LB'd it. And he was going to try to trap me in it. Lucky enough, I had enough rockets uh, to stop that from happening. Uh, but he's right here, so let's see if we can PvP him and get some loot from him. Okay. 
Somehow this gate actually done more damage than he did in this whole fight because I actually had to use a rocket on it. Um, but as you can see here, yeah, I got some loot, not much whatsoever really. Obviously we're going to need to fill these turrets up as much as possible because we're going to be going off mapping a little bit and doing boss fight and that would be a good chance for someone to raid us. So I came over to this cave and just got so much flint and stone that will last us so long until we uh, get more turrets up. So yeah. That's not me. Oh, fuck's sake. Probably should go somewhere else in it. Wait, wait. Nice. Maybe not just kill him. So we actually got something very useful and that was a good track saddle, obviously tracks are the best thing to soak day one because stegos are obviously not out yet, uh, so that is going to be the plan if we're going to try to raid someone. Right. Here feed them, oh feed them, oh feed them, there, here, here, blood is blind, TV is blind, oh wait he's still on time, you're setting. TV. You're setting. So to be fair, I've never really done the hard centre boss fight like this. I normally just get shotguns or wait until I've got a decent enough pump to do it. But this is honestly probably quicker as a duo and even as a free four man, you'll be able to get this done within like 10, maybe even 5 minutes. Uh, but I definitely recommend this way over the shotguns now. Uh, especially early game, you don't have to craft up the shells uh, and you don't have to find a good shotgun. Don't die. Yeah. Nice. Deep. So I don't know if you saw, but when I was looting the monkey, I did actually get a flat gauntlet BP, which was kind of good because we need obviously a full set of flat BPs. And that was a great start about an hour or two into wipe. I think it's about more near the two side now, uh, but still, let's hope we don't get countered when we get out with this boss. 7k. I see. So someone had set a little turret box up, lucky enough Geordie didn't die and he did actually grapple my body so we didn't lose any of the Ellie and he got out alive somehow. Uh, so the people who tried to counter us took an L there and we still had everything that we had when we went into the boss fight. So we had tons of metal cooking up inside of our base, lucky enough I believe we had like 60 forges going and a couple of indies and we decided to bring all that metal and loads of resources over to the centre where we had all this element on and craft all the tech structures we would need. We're literally like three and a half hours into wipe right now as I'm showing you guys on the screen which is ridiculous. We are definitely up there with the biggest tribe on the server, if not the biggest. Um, so yeah, let's get this back to base safely and start placing it all. So we had zero element on our map, so we couldn't even power the generators right now. So I decided to do a small early run. I mean, I didn't get too much, uh, but I got enough for like now, I guess. And um, yeah, I'm going to bring this back, get some shards in the turrets. And honestly, we shouldn't get touched right now. Um, we've got tech this early on and we can just focus on other things and get other stuff done. So right now I'm giving you guys a little base tour you could say, uh, all these turrets and everything like that. They had a few bullets in, just enough so people couldn't soak it I guess. And we had this like half wall thing that was uh, a few foundations away from the entrance so you'd get shot. I don't think you're made we can dive in this especially with a prim saddle right now. Uh, so that was the main worry and we had about 52 turrets as you can see on the screen. We just need to work on bullets and shards for now. We then crafted a ton of indie forges and I decided I was going to do a solo metal run with the magma saw that I had and uh, obviously I can get like four caps of indie forges worth of metal and that would last us so so many days. 
I then came over to Genesis to try to get a track line up because we wanted to raid as many bases as possible and we're only going to do that with some tracks right now. Obviously there are loads of people over here too so I might even get into some PvP here. As my tribe member was getting off soon, I came to get some condensed gas balls, uh, well condensed gas which obviously turns into balls, so I can get loads of bat turrets uh, for when I'm farming or doing any other stuff because I don't want to get countered in a 2v1. So here I actually realised my audio was messed up, tried to fix it and it didn't fix but we've still got some sort of mic audio here so uh, yeah let's hopefully we can kill this guy and get some loot from him. So this kid's made a ticket yeah? He's... <laughs> He's like, I'm stuck. I was like, all right, no worries. I'll come get you out. He goes, I'm in the mannequins. Uh, or rag. Are, are you good? Yeah. <laughs> this, kid, this kid goes, I'm in the mannequins. Can you come help me get out? I was like, yeah, no worries. Like, just, just a Right, boys, we've had some issues with our mic, and uh, I've just realised now. I mean, it's sooner rather than later because my uh, graphics drivers weren't updated. So, yeah, literally all the content I got so far didn't have a mic in. So that's not good, is it? Uh, anyways, let me make sure no one's died to tires. Uh This is progress. I don't have preview mode on right now because I uh, just reinstalled my drivers. And uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well. We've got 56 turrets. It is, how many hours is it now? It is six hours into wipe. My tribe member has went off because he's out clubbing or whatever, uh, but it's all good. He'll make up for it tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna farm up bullets. I've been doing loads of stuff. I mean, all the content would have st still been in the video. It's just don't have audio. So uh, a bit annoying to watch, but it's all good, it's all good. Um, oh yeah, I just went to get congealed, so I need to put that in the cooker. I then wanted to try my bat turret strategy once again. I haven't tried this for a while, and I wanted to see if it sort of still worked, because it's obviously has been quite a while, because I haven't really been solo for a while, so uh, let's see. Hopefully one of them. Blesses me with a... Uh... Bloodstalker dead, where? B. Hmm. Thank you, let's see. Bro, literally had nothing. <sighs> literally not a single thing. R.I.P. There was another red drop, but someone was trying to do the exact same thing as me here. So I was going to set some bat turrets up literally above his head and they would shoot him when he tries to loot some more bodies that he's got. And then I'm going to try to soak the two heavy turrets with a track, which I'm going to have to go back and get. So let's see if this plan works. Trying the bat turret thing. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to like, bait him out. Have any grapples? I know if bro knows, must know, right? Twenty seconds. It's gonna kill him, but I don't have grapples. Eight seconds. There we go. I'm pretty sure I just got fabied. I need grapples. Literally nothing I can do. Um, might be a shout to go back get a uh, go back get a trap. Honestly, he probably is. Just so he can't get in there, I'm gonna put two turrets here either side. So if he tries to get in here, should be able to just soak it from up here, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, for, oh, for that was his turret and I realised it's mine. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh yeah, I can. Definitely. Definitely. 
Please no. Please no again. Veggie. Yes. So both at the same time probably. There we go. Hopefully this has actually some loot and it was worth doing all this aggro for that. I doubt they're going to have too many bullets, I wouldn't have thought so. But it's actually got more bullets than I think. There's no way they've put more than like 500. Unless bro is literally balling on bullets, which I hope not. Should be able to outheal one. Got 17 veggies. Can definitely do it. Just, I would not expect they used to have that as money bullets, I can't lie. But you know. Killed him again, he really wants to get his body back badly. So that probably means there's some decent loot. Alright, that's one salt. So probably I would say about six, seven hundred bullets they had in each. Actually maybe not. Salt? I believe so. I do need to make sure there's not another turret because he might put three. You never know. Never do know. I mean, better than prune flax, so I'll definitely take. Just let me camo just to make sure. I believe that was the only tire. Yeah, cool. Maybe nothing. C4, nothing. C4. There we go. Oh, yes. Right, it was definitely worth it. Let's just put it that way. 100% worth it, 2.6, 3k, yeah, 100% worth it, let's go, one more heavy even, shotgun BP, which, don't think I can really get that too high, crossbow BP is nice, chest BP obviously, like prim, but better than prim flak, is nice, definitely, yeah, you could definitely see why he was going for his loot, um, and yeah, that is worth it in my opinion. Even got some other guys. He camped this so hard. So many dead bodies. It's kind of crazy, really. GB7. <laughs> Rip you, bro. Rip that guy. I then wanted to do some solar raiding and I picked a little cave near Crouch Bear Cave. I don't even know what this is called, it's so bad. I believe this was just a start of location for these guys. They were actually online and defending inside so it was going to be somewhat very hard because they had like 8 to 12 heavies and uh, this weren't too far into wipe at this point. But um, let's see what we can do. Even if we can drop the outside, we'll be fine. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five. That doesn't count as a foundation, surely. Right, we got that set up, and now we just need a soak, and hopefully, you just don't appear from the somewhere and just. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't get slammed while soaking, because they're online, obviously. Like, everyone's online right now, so I'm trying to solo online people. It's just a bit of effort, you know? I could have probably got a turret up here, but I don't really need one. Come on. Oh, I didn't see that many turrets. Maybe not, boys. Maybe not. Didn't see that many. I thought, you know what? Maybe. Maybe we can do this. But I may die here. Try. 
truck may die. Only, only survivors though. That's what I mean. I, I can't raid. I can't raid this. My truck's gonna be dead in three, two, one, and it's probably dead already. It's just, it's just impossible to online solo right now. Passive, bro, please. You're really gonna die. You're actually dead. Brother. Bro! Nice. Dead. That guy didn't really have much. Up here, please, Stalker. Thank you. I'm just gonna PvP these guys because I can't raid them. So let's PvP. Probably lose my kit in the process, but you know. It's not getting them turrets. They have got no ARV. Gone. Pick me, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think he's gonna come out anymore. Bro, they're so bad. If they just didn't have turrets there and I had a tribe member, they'd be gone. Literally gone. Yeah. I think that's all they've got, but like, I can't really do much, so I'm gonna have to leave. Probably. See how many bullets they've got. Absolutely no bullets. Could have soaked that so easily, but I just don't have the stuff for that, really. So sadly, there was very little I could do there, so I decided to call it a day. So sadly, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you have made this far into the video, please put G14 in the comments and know I have made this far, which means more than anything, guys. Anyway, have a amazing rest of the day or night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in the next video.